Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for all new Hawkeye issue one. Um, I did get it digitally this week, guys. Sorry, uh, my comic book store didn't have it this week, um, but hopefully issue two I'll get printed. Um, but before I start talking about all, all new um, all new Hawkeye, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 88, and that's a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Future's End issue 44. Revival, issue 28. Batman Eternal, issue 48. Operation Sin, issue 3. Earth 2 World's End, issue 22. Earth 2, issue 32. Zombies vs. Cheerleaders, issue 1. Wolf Moon, issue 4. And Lady Killer, issue 3. So if you want to check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 88 which is annotated. But let's talk about all new Hawkeye issue one. Um, this was definitely one of my most anticipated issues of the week. Um, I was a little scared for it too, uh, because we still haven't gotten Fractions Run ending. Uh, it hasn't ended. There's still one issue left, so I'm like, is this gonna spoil things? Like, I don't know. It felt weird. Uh, which should feel weird. I think delays... It should be a negative, honestly. And that, that kind of disappointed me. Uh, I don't know if they should have pushed this or... I don't know. The delay. That's always uh, something to talk about. Uh, but yeah, still very excited that, you know, Lemire obviously did uh, Green Arrow. Didn't love his run on Green Arrow, um, but that was mostly because of the darker tone of the series. Um, but I was very excited for him to take over Hawkeye. And I think he did a good job. Here we get to see uh, Kate, Clint. Their, their chemistry is great. It's still great. Uh, they're working together to try to find this weapon for S.H.I.E.L.D. And they find, they find the weapon. You don't really know what the weapon is, but it's like these creatures. Uh, you don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll find out more of it uh, with the next issue. And also you have a, another story going on, which is the past of Clint. Um, I guess really just his relationship with his brother. I don't really know what that's going to do for the series. It felt like it was a little weird because last issue of, uh, of Hawkeye, his brother died. So what does this have to do with Lemire's run? I don't know. I felt that didn't fit as much as I wanted it to, but maybe in trade that would make a little bit more sense. Like, ah, oh, that's why they're showing this scene. Uh, but I felt like it made a little less sense in the first issue. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed the artwork. I, I like the past painting style and how they mixed it with the present. Um, present looked great. It actually reminded me a lot of David Aja's artwork, so it's pretty similar. Um, story is good. I enjoyed, again, the best part of this issue was the chemistry between Kate and Clint, the one-liners they're telling each other. Um, I'm curious about whatever these creatures are. I, I won't say I'm excited about the cliffhanger, but I was curious about it. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to see where the series goes, though. Uh, this might be a better trade read than issue by issue read. That's what I got from the first issue, but still excited. Um, one thing I kind of wish they did was tell Kate's background a bit more. I think that would have been interesting, because, like, we all know who Clint is. And I, and I think we, we discovered that through the last series. So it would have been more interesting to see Kate's background, because I think she's an interesting character, her being kind of a privileged person and then becoming Hawkeye. Uh, and also there's a lot of things that happened to her in the past that we've seen with Young Avengers. So I think that would have been a different route or maybe show both their past. I don't know. Again, I think there's a direction that Lemire is going with it. I just didn't really see it with the first issue. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed it. I think it's worth picking up. And uh, I give it three and a half stars. Now, I'll definitely be picking up the next issue. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my cop book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>